Hey guys, we created a new character. Um, he's got blonde hair, and he always... His name is Blondo. <laughs> and he always wants to talk for some reason. <laughs> so much so that they gave us just a prompt. We can't even draw our weapons. No. We can only talk to the enemies. That's also, it. look at our look at our blood echoes. Oh my god! That's like... Just kidding! It's still me, Dr. Hugo Strange. Uh. We found out where we're supposed to go. Yeah, it took us actually a good while. But don't worry, we have the password now. I got pink and blue strawberries that time. The password. My, this is my favorite part of the whole game. Already dead. <laughs> was he? Though? Did he just die? He was the password dude. No, he's just. All right. Uh, uh, so we're about to enter Bur the Forbidden Woods into Bergenworth. Oh my God! Shit's about to get real, like really real. Are we, are we gonna see a color? That's. Are we gonna see a color? Dude, you don't even want to see a color. Yeah. I, Fuck yeah, dude. I really don't want to see no colors. <laughs> Wait. I, I'm I'm used to. Resident Evil controls. Fuck. Is there one coming up here? Oh, he's right there. Alright. Uh, we have eight, so I think we can go to the next stage of eight our what? weapon. Ah! Oh, eight uh, twin bloodstone shards. Don't let him hit me with a fire, though. Oh, shit. I, we didn't sink. Oh, uh, whoops. And we didn't, uh, we need to turn the volume down. Whoops. But first we need to turn it up. But then we gotta turn, but... Then we gotta turn it down again. My question is, where's the caveman? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's a good sync point for you. Welcome to the, uh, into the mind of the, the Dark Souls. Or that the Dark Souls, the Dark Room boys. The Dark Souls boys? The Dark Souls boys. Welcome back to Dark Souls boys. Oh, shit. Um, Give it here. We're gonna. I I realized that I got so many complaints about our audio quality and how. What? They uh, yeah. Everybody was emailing me saying like, oh man, the TV's too loud. So we turned it down. They turned the TV down. Yeah. Okay. Nobody complained because nobody watched. But if people did watch, I would get complaints. So there you go. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. We're we're preemptively stopping complaints. For when when we hit the big time in Hollywood, still waiting. Uh, you know there was a I, I saw a clip um, from Family Guy, like a recent. I think it had to be recent. That actually genuinely made me laugh. Can you believe that? I I can believe it. I mean, it was the it was something like uh, what Peter and Brian were at the movies. And it was, it kept showing, uh, he's like, you can never tell when the movie starts and the, uh, and the production credits are still rolling. And it's like, <laughs> it starts off like, uh, 21st Century Fox or whatever, or 20th Century Fox. And, um, and then it shows like a big lake and then it goes to like another production thing. Oh yeah. And then it shows like a bird flying through a city and it's like. Cityland Productions. <laughs> and it says India, 1886. He's like, oh, here we go. And it says Place and Time <laughs> Productions. There's a guy, a bloody arm, and uh, he's busted through, and he's like, ah, yeah, here comes the action. And it like freezes, and it says Guy with a Bloody Arm Production Company. <laughs> like, it was funny. It was yeah. a go. It was a good joke. I mean, it's not. It's not like. It's not like Family Guy never has anything. No, it's not. It. Yeah, but it's just like the problem is they're uh, they're more recent shits. They're not a, to be a, like, a, oh, back in my day, Family Guy was great because it, it had you know shitty. I want. I think like the second season was great. First season had some good stuff, but other than that, it was a little too tame, I guess. Yeah. It just felt like I don't know. I could just be watching any other family sitcom and then it stopped being more of a family sitcom after that yeah um 
But a lot of people that seem to have an attitude is like, oh, Family Guy. It's just, ugh, pfft, uh, don't even talk to me. I never, ever watch that. I never leave it hmm. on my TV while I fall asleep. It's just, you know, you can watch it. It's like the potato chips of TV. Basically, yeah, that's a very good, uh... It's there, and sometimes it'll be like, you'll, you'll hear a good joke. Oh! I like how she always reacts to your... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, we gotta be... We're here now. You ever just, like, flail your arms at somebody and they... Yeah. Alright. Um, if for those of you wondering, uh, today's episode will be snacking on sweet tarts, chewy sours. Chewy sours. Oh, this is definitely a buy. Mm. I like them. They're kind of like spree. <laughs> Dude, whatever. Is that guy still doing shit? I can't remember. The food reviewer. I know that Reddit had a hard on for this one dude from England eating chicken all the time. Did you ever see that guy? Um, he actually had like really well produced videos. Is that the kid that like wears who always dresses up to record to like review a fucking Domino's pizza or something? It was it's a chicken place. He goes to fried he goes to eat fried chicken. Oh, I, I don't know who this is. He, he was fu he's funny and he had he's a kid, but like he's funny and he has really good production quality, like surprisingly good production quality. Remember the scene in the Little Rascals movie where. Um, they had like a an attraction at the carnival called everybody look and see the giant man eating chicken <laughs> and then <laughs> I can already see where it's and god it's damn just, and it's just like you go in and it's just like one of the kids dressed up like standing on a stool or something and have a fake mustache eating a bucket of chicken <laughs> One of my favorite jokes like that, like a freak carnival thing, was from uh, Baby Blues. I think was that show on Adult Swim. I mean, it was a comic. Book. Yeah, it was a comic strip too. But they had that a show on Adult Swim. Yeah. And uh, one of my favorite jokes from it was, "Come see the man with five fingers," because back uh, in those days, everybody drew cartoon characters with only four. Yeah. And somebody, uh, some, one of the kids went, Oh, gross! This <laughs> is funny. It's a good joke. You know in The Simpsons, um, the characters Jesus and God, they're the only characters that have five fingers. Really? Yeah. What? I wonder why that is. Do people just not dry, lock, that, 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 do people not like drawing pinkies? Or, it's just easier to animate. This, that's, a, that's a problem with drawing hands, apparently. Sometimes, you know, like in The Simpsons, people's fingers are really chunky. Yeah. It's hard to fit all of that onto one hand. So you take one out, it looks a little more natural without them looking like they have big fucking... Meaty clackers. Yeah. <laughs> Clamps. <laughs> Holy shit, he was torching me. We have a bunch of HP. I hope, like... Like, we have a lot of HP. I always like it when, uh... That's called lamp shading, by the way. When, uh, when a show references its own, uh... Animation? Not its so, animation, but its own tropes, I guess. Yeah. Like, in one of the Goofy movies, uh, one of the characters is like, Why are we always wearing, wearing these gloves? Dude, that was goddamn, uh... What's his name? Holly Shore. Holly Shore. The Leaning Tower of Cheese. I want to know how much cheese. cheesy cheese that actually sold. It, <sighs> like, I I know after seeing that movie, I wanted to try that cheese. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be, but... Dude, I fucking love eating cheese. I don't hate it. A lot of people pretend that it's disgusting, but... No. I mean, there's some sitting on the bed right now. But um, I was calling you trash. Oh, okay. 
They probably didn't hear that though. Uh oh. My grandma asked me if I wanted uh if there was any trash. If there was any trash I had to go out. Oh, uh here's a here's a fun little thing we can do. I completely forgot about this. Well I didn't completely forget, but um I think it's here. First things first, I think we need, there needs to be a shortcut that we need to open up. Because, yeah, there definitely is. We head back that way, it takes us back to Yarnum, but to a certain location in Yarnum. A place we've been to? Technically, yes. How'd those dogs get up there? They're birds. But like I don't yeah. believe you. You know, this taste this tastes like like when I eat a uh, sweet tart. Oh god! And then drink the sweet tea. It tastes like uh, sweet tarty. It tastes like um, what's it called when you mix sweet tea and lemonade? An Arnold Palmer. Yeah. You don't kick me! That's what it tastes like. I think I've ever had an Arnold Palmer. People used to make, like, ask for them all the time. And when I was serving, first time somebody said, kind of an Arnold Palm. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, what? Can you have a what, sir? That's not on the menu. The fuck did you just say to me? Um, I never, what I buy is not, like, labeled as an Arnold Palmer. It's Arnold. hard to say. No, Arnold. it's not Arnold Palmer. Arnold the Palmer. <laughs> Arnold the Palmer. I keep trying. I keep like a fucking born on me. I keep trying to say um, Arnold Pal Arnold Palmer. <laughs> um, I just buy like you're, you're seen to nuts with Arnold the Palmer. Ah shit. <laughs> he always gets so palmy. <laughs> um, I just buy the ones I buy are the Milo's tea variant. Oh, gotcha. Uh, for those of you that don't know... Sweet Milo's Tea, man. Milo's Famous Sweet Tea. Uh, I think it's sold everywhere. It's not sold everywhere. It's sold mostly in the South. But Alabama is the only the place, place that has, that has Milo's. the restaurants. Yeah. yeah. Which is a damn shame. I like them. Milo's is really good. If you guys ever want, for some reason, want to come to Alabama... If you find yourself in, 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 <laughs> in this hellhole... <laughs> uh... Dude, that's one thing Duke was trying to, like, tell me how great Alabama is. I don't actually have a problem with it. I... I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but it's not great. I would I rather mean, live somewhere else. It's not happening. Like, it's... It's just... I think if it's you, a, like... It's fine to live here, I guess. It's okay to live here. But the thing is, is, like, if you go somewhere else and experience the way people, other people live life, it's so much more exciting and interesting than Alabama. Yeah. Well, some people so they don't need like exciting boring stuff. No, no, that's okay. But like, oh god, that is that looks like nasty. That looks like what you jump into in Super Mario sixty four to go into Hazy Maze. That looks like 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 um just really like muddy water that's been sitting there for like a like a long time. I think that's what they're going for, possibly. And it started to get that weird iridescent effect on it. So that's a cool word. Yeah. Thanks. It means... <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> For teaching me a word. Oh. It's cool. I have an iridescent knife. Like, right next to me. Is it iridescent or iridescent? I call it, I say iridescent because, like, Because I've heard iridescent before. It might be both. I might be wrong, too. I don't think I have any. Oh, Can I talk cool. to... Who's this? A hunter of beasts, are you? Glory be. You do not know the value you possess, but more is the pity... The hours of the night are many, and the beasts more than I could count. You can always get, like, mall ninja knives and stuff. Oh, shit. Where's the... Hold on. Shh. You can't hear him. Okay. That voice should be familiar to you, though. Oh. Well, I probably didn't hear the first voice. Unless this is, like, a <coughs> voice actor right now. It's a voice actor you know. Oh, who is it? I can't tell you. Oh. Look at that, that's iridescent. Okay. 
Uh, I thought I saw some sort of, like, contraption I could take up. What does this do? What does operate device do? Why can't it just say pull lever? Ah, shit! <laughs> okay. Well, fuck. Okay, uh, we gotta be very careful through here, but, I mean, this is the... I wanna do this, so. What's through here? Something interesting, okay? Okay. It's just I can't get the fucking shortcut back unless there's a lamp down here. Which I don't think there is. Yeah, we will need these. Thankfully we have ten of them, so... Well, maybe we can find out what's interesting in here. Uh, Next time on... What? what the, where are we at? It's Fifteen minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, God, it's a giant fucking Marfan syndrome. Get away! Go! Get out of here! No, you're gonna take off my fucking... <laughs> you're gonna take off my lifesavers. <laughs> They're my icebreakers. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. What? I don't know, wasn't that a game? I don't know.